Hello, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and we're going to go over the Square Select tool in GIMP. So first of all, we're going to bring a photo, drop it onto our canvas like this, and we want to cut out this little uh, picture right here. So what we'll do is use the Square Select tool, you know, go like this, you know, and then we can cut it out, go, to, go up to Edit, and then Cut, and then we can go File, New, OK, and then paste that image in there. Now we have the image in there that we can work with. So that's, that's what the Square Selection tool is all about. So you can go into uh, different things, and and uh, let me go ahead and do that one more time for you. So here's another image. You know, Uncle John carrying his nephew David across the river. So maybe we'll just go ahead and zoom in there. Now what we could do is we can adjust this as we're inside a GIMP, you know, make it wider, so on and so forth. And uh, that's what... Uh, that's what's nice about these little tools over here. We could actually do, you know, different types of uh, widths and whatnot. Uh, and we can adjust this to, to whatever we want. So after we get that, we just go, simply just go up to Edit and then Cut and then File, New, click OK. And then we can just paste the image in there, and then we can, we're ready to export. But that's that's the all about the uh, rectangle selection tool. There's a lot of different things that you could do in here. Uh, so let me go ahead and go File, New, click OK. And uh, let's bring in another image here of Uncle John carrying David across the creek. And uh, so let's go over these tools. So if we want to feather the edges, like maybe we want a, a big feather, we would increase the radius. You know, and we want to click outside the picture here because otherwise we'll start moving the picture. And you'll notice whenever I click this, uh, the edges are feathered. Okay, and basically the only way you could see that is I'm going to do Control X for cut, file new, I'm going to click OK. If I paste that image, you'll notice now we have kind of like a gradient around there. So that's what that feather edges means whenever you're doing something like that. Uh, let me go ahead and go file new so I can show you some other cool stuff. And uh, here we will grab uh, Uncle John and Augie and the Crick. All right. And so with this particular one, if we take off feathered image, edges, but we want to round the corners, you just click on rounded corners here. Let's see if I can get it to click for me. And select the tool the corners and we're just going to go like this now this is probably not cooperating with me because of the there we go so now I selected the tool and now I'm going to increase the uh, radius of the rounded corners I could do whatever I want to here and then you'll notice whenever I go to edit and then cut file new I'll just click OK and I'll paste it in there and now you'll notice that I get a nice rounded edge whenever I'm using this square select tool. Okay, um, Let's do one more so I can show you what the uh, expanded from the center means. And here we will grab them going across the creek again. And uh, this, particular one, this particular tool here, expanded from the center, uh, you'll notice that whenever I go in ahead and I select the tool, right, and uh, I have expanded from center selected, it will expand this from the center. It won't expand it from the side. It'll expand from the center. Um, once again, my video is not cooperating with me, but you'll notice that that's what will happen. It'll make the whole square big. Okay. And this the position of fixed, you can have like a width position. Uh, let me if let me see what I could do about clearing the uh, history on this. Let's clear the history. This is what we do over here. So you guys said that you like to see me make all my mistakes as I'm doing this. So that's a good thing to show people, I guess. Now, here we can choose aspect ratio, width, height. So we'll choose aspect ratio. Uh, well, actually, we'll just, do, we'll just do width. So then that way I can show you what this tool is all about. So if we go here, and if we set the, the, the width to a certain... Um, width you'll notice that whenever I go to expand this that that width is only a hundred pixels okay so what if I wanted it 300 pixels well I can edit it here okay and then whenever I go over here you'll see that it, it won't expand it won't go left or right but I could go up and down I can adjust the height on that so that's what that's about
All right. Now this position, you can actually move the positions in here. I'll just put 200 in here so you see what happens. It goes over there, go back to 300. So you can adjust your position for your cut right there. And here, of course, this is self-explanatory. We could do the size, make the size bigger. And then this highlight thing, you notice how the background is like darker a little bit. If we take that off, it will not highlight the background, you know. And then this guide thing is, is uh, we'll put uh, different guides in the uh, the rule of thirds right in there. And we'll put it five boxes across, five boxes down if rule of fifths, you know, so you could get a better uh, understanding of what's going on there. Okay, this is all about the square selection tool. I hope this video was informative for you. This is Maximum Thing Website Pro.